Welcome back, everybody, to another edition of the War Report here on Elysium Peak. It is battle number 14, August 13th, 2024. I'm your host, Foglada, the Gashi Tribe, and we're going to jump right on in. First up is some key terms. We have prestige, which is the value of land that you own. Acclaim, which is the total amount of prestige that you earn across the course of the season. Renown is the change in your property value, whether it goes up or down. And triumphs is the end-of-season prize money we're all fighting for. Now, as for some upcoming events, there's one event in particular you must be wary of if you live in the Borderlands. If you live in the Borderlands, you've got to know every big house there is is coming to the Battle of August 17th. Battle number 15th is the final positioning round for the capital city. Anyone who wants that Conqueror's Crown has got to be in the Borderlands that day. So expect that zone to be lit, to be lively. Absolute chaos breaking out everywhere. It is going to be a wild party. If you like fights, that's where you want to be. All right. War summary. 50 warring factions still fighting it out on the borderlands and throughout the world. 18 total alliances, 133 fiefs, 60,180 total prestige. Now looking at the three regions, you see some pretty dominant players. In the Borderlands, we have 24,830 total prestige, total fiefs of 55. Hibernia owns 70% of that land. 20% goes to Roaming Rebels. Lacosa Nostra to 3%. Gur to 2%. And Deuce Volt to 2%. Looking at Angavaria, we have 18,200 total prestige with 40 fiefs available. Chaos Legion is dominating this region with 58%. Start with 16%. RADs with 16%, Animal Kingdom with 5%, and Cohorts with 2%. Two, 2%. Over in Anadolu, the southwestern region, we have 17,150 total prestige with 38 fees available. Over here, Art of Ds is dominating with 58% of the world. Praetorius has 11, Golden Order with 11, Cohorts with 10, and Chaos Legion with 4. Now, each of these big game areas, Hibernia, Chaos Legion, Art of Ds, most likely will have some significant change in the property value during the war on Saturday. This is because a lot of the big guys, Art of Ds, Chaos Legion, are going to be flooding over the borderland, taking as much land as they can so they can get the decks on those gates. Now, this will mean Hibernia is probably going to get hit pretty hard. So, that probably is going to go down a bit. Roaming Rebels will also be hit. Um, and they'll be scrounging through all that land. So we're going to see a lot of change-ups here. As they're moving over to the borderlands, we're going to see those smaller houses pick up and take over a lot of the Anadolu and Ungavaria regions. So you're going to see a whole lot of changes on Saturday. Just be wary. All right, so Ungavaria. Here we go. 18,200 regional prosperity. 95% free houses versus 5% legion. We have one capital city, 13 towns, 4 forts, and 22 villages. Prosperity tier is 3 at 85%. Top 5 seasonal landowners is World Eaters with 22,050. Vanguard in 2nd with 21,250. Infamous, 19,950. Pantheon with 8,850. And Bravas with 7,650. Top Renown Builders goes to World Eaters with 750 Renown, Monarch with 300 Renown, Vanguard with 250 Renown, the Notoriety Club 200, Infamous with 150. Top prestigious strongholds are Horka at rank 6, Radarvar at rank 6, Flourishing Village is Reseji at rank 4. Now looking at the before and after, this is where we started. That's where we ended. Looking at the changes, we saw Bravas gain 5, Undying Wolves with 1, Vanguard with 1, Notoriety Club with 3, and Speak with 1. Looking at the houses of Ungavaria, we have Infamous owning the throne right now. They have been contested, yet they have not bent, had not broken. They still retain that crown. Vanguard and World Eaters are positioned to continue hitting. Mortality is a regional baron, as well as Bravas. In the regional stewards, we have the Notoriety Club, Explicit, Undying Wolves, Ungavarian Legion, Odin, Odin's Ravens, and Speak. As for the race for Turoveros, Chaos Legion is in play. Start is actually qualified to hit it now, so we could see two different alliances fighting over it. Looking at the Rising Kingdoms, Kiri of Alevga, I don't know. They have uh, rank 2 now. And then Hatvan went up to two. I'd love to know how to pronounce that one. All right. South End, Geoma, rank four. Hatteveros went down to five. And 
Kofa Solaka went to one. As for unit kits, Horka, Shield Maiden kits, Men at Arm kits, Craig's Breeder kits, Radarvar has the Crad Frack Lancer, Jalen and Sergeant in Craig's Breeder kits, Hatter Veros with the Huskarl in Craig's Breeder kits, and Meharak uh, with the Craig's Breeder or Craig's Strat Fusiliers, uh, Vassal Longbow, and Claymore kits. As for Siege Crafting, Riverside has Well Made Mourners. Vasavaro, well-made Culverns, Western Frontier, well-made Scorpio, and Meharak with the well-made Mortar. Looking at them beef quests, Rider Bar has your two Barb quests for 4,200 player XP. That's some easy money XP right there. Top Honor Gains, Hatterveros, one Epic Artillery for 840. You can also drop another one of those off at Horka for 840. Top House EXP Gains, if you're still gaming the House EXP, you are well missing the cart. But you can head over to Hatterveros, Rider Bar, Horka with 100 regional exotics, and drop them off for 280 house EXP. All right, as for Anadolu, southwest region, 84% free houses versus 16% legion, 17,150 regional prosperity with one capital city, 12 towns, 4 forts, and 21 villages in play. We have a prosperity tier 3, 78% of the way to 4. Top 5 seasonal landowners include Vanguardia with 25,650, Homegrown with 24,350, Knox with 22,050, Infamous with 18,300, and Mark with 10,800. Top renowned builders Vanguardia with 1,050, Homegrown with 600, Knox with 300, Veritasium with 150, and The Wild Hunt with 50. Most prestigious strongholds in the region is Scythius with rank 7. Top flourishing villages is Manorbell at rank 2. Alright, as for the before and after, this is where we started. That's where we ended. Looking at the battles, we saw Cohorts gain 5, Mortality with 1, Monarch with 4, Vanguardia with 4, Breakfast Club with 1, Infamous with 1, Homegrown with 2, Forge of War with 4, Knox with 1, and World Eaters with 1. Looking at the Houses of Anadolu, we have Infamous securing the crown there. I haven't seen it contested. I don't know if anyone's fighting over it, but... Infamous def def definitely has it secured at this point. Uh, regional Dukes include Monarch. Regional Barons includes Forge of War and Adolu Legion. Veritas TM and Vanguardia. Regional Stewards include Chosen Ones, Homegrown, The Breakfast Club, Mortality, Knox, and World Eaters. Taking a look at that race for the crown right now. They are the only ones qualified as RDDs. Looking at the Rising Kingdoms of Anadolu, Cynthia's went up to 7. Crumbling Empires, Marsarota dropped to 6. Kuskari dropped to 1. Looking at those Unikit crafting, we have Cynthius with Silidar, Sifnari, Hashashin, Varangian Guardsmen, Huskarl, and Mermillo kits. Marsakota has the Falconetti Gunners, Shield Maidens, Berserker, Imperial Arquebusier kits. Elistria has the Helber Sergeant and Javelin Inner Sergeant kits. Over in Anadolu, we have Cynthius with the Optimal Ballista, Optimal Mortar, and a well-made Watch Arrow Launcher. Ekatori with the well-made Cannon, Pila with well-made Culvern, Stout with the well-made Mortar, Lestria with the well-made Culvern. Looking at those fifth quests, you have Marsakota with the six Junior Rebel Officer Belongings for 4,000 or 15 unknown or uncommon Rebel Cavalry Kits, both of which are 4,000. Top Honor Gains goes to Fort Hypate with one Epic Artillery for 720, top EX. House EXP is for high bait with 100 regional exotics for 240. Now for the fun zone, the bouncy house as we like to refer to it. 100% free house owned, 0% legion owned. Regional prosperity is 24,830. There are 17 towns, 4 forts, and 34 villages in play. It is a prosperity tier 4, 91% of the way to tier 5. Top 5 seasonal land owners include I Kingdom with 68,000. 250 total acclaim. Goshke with 31,980 and Durandian with 28,470. Fourth place we have Relentless with 13,260 and then Infamous in fifth with 11,310. Looking at the top renowned builders we have I Kingdom with 2,535, Goshke with 1,690, Durandian with 1,235, Infamous with 975, Monarch with 975, Top prestigious strongholds are Shocken at rank 7, Bixi at rank 6, Dar 6, Chaofeng 6, Fujian 5. These are all going to be key targets. 
Flourishing villages include Artaban at rank 2, Wutai rank 2, Alino at rank 2, and Baru rank 2. Looking at the northern borderlands, this is where we began. That's where we ended. Looking at the changes, we saw Resurrection gained 1, Khan gained 1, Drandon with 1, and Stormcloaks with 1. Looking at the south end, this is where we started. That's where we ended. Looking at the changes, Wild Hunt gained 4, I Kingdom gained 8, Immortal QC with 1, and I Team with 1. Looking at the houses of the Borderlands, right now the Emperor is the Cohorts. Regional Dukes include I Kingdom, Dranin, and Goshkia. Regional Barons include the Wild Hunt, Relentless. Regional Stewards include I Team, Resurrection, Stormcloaks, Midway Kings, Goshkia Dub, Athrium, uh, Immortal QC, and Khan. All right. Looking at the race for the capital city, here you go. Hibernia has the biggest lead right now with 17,355. That will not be so on Saturday, no doubt. Chaos Legion has 11,300. They are very close to having the lead there. RDDs will need to pass up Chaos Legion if they hope to get the key declare on that gate first and then the Conquer City. Roaming Rebels is trailing behind with 4,875, but they're not quite out of range. They could potentially have a knock at that capital. Looking at the Rising Kingdoms of the Borderlands, we saw Carlsback go to 3, Fujon to 5, Baroon to 5, Kinu to 4, Bixie to 6. Looking at the Crumbling Empires, we see anything downgrade this war. Looking at Unit Kit Crafting, Shotgun has Iron Reaper Kits, Urachi Samurai Kits, Camel Lancer Kits, Percival Royal Guard Kits, Companion Cavalry Kits, Bixie has a Fire Lancer Cavalry Kits, Shield Maiden Kits, Zai Hinder Kits, Queen's Knight Kits, Berserk Kits, Imperial Archer Kits, Onimushi Kits, and Kriegsburg Kits. Chao Feng has the Hashashin, Rediari, Yanyudomin Cavalry, Queen's Knights, Mermillo, Crescent Monks, Onimusha, and Kriegsbruder Kits. Now, if you are looking to make money on kits, Zyhander Kits are the cheapest gold kit crafting that there is. They are the most in demand for Thief Quests. So go to Big C, craft up those Zyhander Kits while you can. If that Thief drops a rank in this next war on Saturday, you're not going to be able to craft those again. That is optimal money making. I will tell you right now, if you're looking to make money, Zyhander Kits are where they're at. Over at Dar, Rediari, uh, Orochi Samurai, Banner Guards, and Camel Lancer Kits, and then Fujon with the Crescent Monks, per Percival Royal Guard Kits. Now, if you're looking for Siege, Shotgun has the Optimal Grape Shot Cannon, Optimal Culvern. Bixie has a well-made watch air launcher. Chow Fang with a well-made cannon, well-made Scorpio. Dar has well-made ballista. Kings Valley, well-made grape shot cannon. No Man's Town, well-made ballista, well-made mortar. Old Prospect, well-made grape shot cannon, well-made watch air launcher. Shaman's Hill, well-made grape shot cannon, well-made ballista. And Fujian with well-made grape shot cannon. Now looking at the Borderlands Thief Quest, Shotgun has 10 uncommon rebel cavalry kits. For 4,000, you can also drop off four coursers or 9,000 cowhide for the same amount. Top honor gains, Shotgun has one epic artillery for 960. Top honor gains is Dar, 100 regional exotics for 280, or Chao Fang for the same amount, same reward. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at these rankings. So we have two rank 7 fiefs in the world, Shotgun and Cynthius. Rank 6 Fiefs, Bixie, Chaofeng, Dar, Horka, Marsaroda, and Radivar. Rank 5 Fiefs, Maroon, Fort Hypate, Sultivar, Vaseji, Fujon, Hydravaros, Lystria, and Meharak. Alright, here we go. House rankings, we got no new houses tonight. We do have a whole lot of Rank 8 houses. I'm surprised we haven't seen Rank 9 yet. I Kingdom, Inf Infamous, Vanguard, Monarch, Goshkia, World Eaters, Mortality, The Wild Hunt, Forge of War, Relentless, Bravus, Veritas TM, Vanguardia, I-Team, The Notoriety Club, Homegrown, Explicit, Stormcloaks, Midway Kings, Odin's Ravens, Nox, Vigilantes, Pantheon, and Atlas, all rank 8. In the rank 7 category, we have Chosen Ones, Undying Wolves, Speak, Khan, Immor or Imperial Dynasty, Here, Nomads, and Retro. House level 6, Durandon, Resurrection, uh, Athrium, Immortal QC, Bandits, The Watch, Regulators, and Nomadics. Looking at population changes, here you go. Top population groups, Explicit with 13 new members, Undying Wolves with 9, Immortal QC with 9. Top population decline, Durandian lost 11, Wild Hunt lost 8, Speak lost 5. 
Looking at gains and losses. Top gains of the night went to I Kingdom with seven new feasts. Bravos with five new feasts. Wild Hunt with four. Norai Club with three. Vanguardia with three. Homegrown with two. Vanguardia with one. Drandon with one. Forge of War with one. And World Eaters with one. Biggest losses of the night is Imperial Dynasty minus three. The Watch minus three. Vigilantes minus three. Infamous minus two. ICRS minus two. Atlas minus two. B Team minus two. Pantheon minus two. Monarch minus two. And I Team. Or, sorry, Monarch minus one and I Team minus one. All right, looking at the top ten. First place, we have I Kingdom with 10,140 prestige. Level is eight. I Secrets Liege. Population is 100. Seasonal claim of 70,100. Renown is 2,585. Property value is 380 triumphs. In second place, we have Infamous of Art of Deeds with 6,450 prestige. The level is 8. I'm in the sky is the liege. Population is 100. Seasonal claim of 49,560. Renown is 825. Property value is 425 triumphs. Third place, we have Vanguard of Chaos Legion with 5,750 prestige. The level is 8. Tong Tong's liege. Population is 100. Seasonal claim of 26,275. Renown is 250. Property value is 280 triumphs. In fourth place, we have Monarch of Art of Deeds with 4,650 prestige. Level is 8. Eric the Penguin's Liege. Population is 98. Seasonal claim of 25,860. Renown is 975. Property value of 245 triumphs. In 5th place, we have Duranin of Hibernia with 3,770 prestige. Level is 6. Zach Frost is the liege. Population is 86. Seasonal claim of 28,620. Renown is 1,235. Property value is 150 triumphs. Next up in 6th place, we have Goshkia of Hibernia with 3,445 prestige. Level is 8. Foglaros Liege. Population is 99. Seasonal claim of 32,330. Right now it is 1,740. Property value is 145 triumphs. In 7th place we have World Eaters with Chaos Legion. 3,150 prestige. Level is 8. Corn Berserkers Liege. Population is 100. Seasonal claim of 32,880. Right now it is 1,140. And property value is 175 triumphs. Next up, in 8th place, we have Mortality with Chaos Legion with 2,400 prestige. Level is 8. Chaos Liege. Population is 98. Seasonal claim of 8,600. Renown is 0. Property value of 125 triumphs. Ninth place, we have the Wild Hunt of Roaming Rebels with 2,145 prestige. Level is 8. Sovereignty is a liege. Population is 68. Seasonal claim of 16,365. Renown is 0. Property value is 90 triumphs. And bringing up 10th place, we have Forge of War with Art of Deeds. 1,850 prestige. Level is 8. Ladrian is a liege. Population is 100 seasonal claim of 13,970 renown is 150 property value is 85 triumphs brings us around to our top 30 go and check out where you stack up all right moving along really quick let's take a look at that historical claim board got some more movement happening here vanguard is still sitting at first infamous at second durandon at third i kingdom at fourth homegrown at fifth Nurei Club at 6th, Monarch at 7th, Gashkia at 8th, Gaia at 9th, Atlas at 10th. Looking at our top builders, My Kingdom has taken the crown with 2,585, just totally accelerating up this chart. Gashkia in 2nd with 1,740, Durandin in 3rd with 1,235, World of Eaters 4th, 1,140, Vanguardia 1,050. Monarch with 975, Infamous with 825, Homegrown with 650, Relentless with eight or 585, and then the Notoriety Club with 395. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at these alliance rankings. There we go. Two free agents right now: Breakfast Club, Immortal QC, and Athrium. All available for the taking. 
Yeah, all right, looking at changes, we saw Nomadic Warriors depart the Nomadic Empire. I'm not sure what's going on there. They might be bringing in a new Nomad. Who knows? All right, looking at the Alliance Movers and Shakers. Start gained 8. Hibernia gained 8. Golden Order with 6. Roaming Rebels with 3. Chaos Legion with 2. Animal Kingdom with 1. Khan with 1. Guru with 1. No Evil with 1. Biggest Losses of the Night, Annabellum, minus 8. NATO minus four, Praetorius minus three, Artides minus two, Deuce Volt minus one. Looking at our top alliances, first place goes to Hibernia with 17,355 prestige, seasonal claim of 131,050. Renown is 5,560, property value is 675 triumphs, population is 285. Goshki is the lead with I Kingdom and Durandin at their side. In second place, we have Art of Deeds with 12,950 prestige. Seasonal claim of 89,390. Renown is 1,950. Property value of 755 triumphs. Population of 298. Infamous is the lead with Monarch and Forge of War at their side. Next up in third place, we have Chaos Legion with 11,300 prestige. Seasonal claim is 67,755. Renown is 1,390. Property value is 580 triumphs. Population is 298. World Eaters is the lead with Vanguard and Mortality at their side. Next up in fourth place, we have Roaming Rebels with 4,875 prestige. Seasonal claim of 51,765. Renown is 485. Property value is 205 triumphs. Population is 252. The Wild Hunt's the lead with Relentless and I Team at their side. Next up in fifth place, we have Start with 3,000 prestige. Seasonal claim of 23,700. Renown is 695. Property value is 145 triumphs. Population is 288. Explicit is the lead with Bravos and the Nerari Club at their side. Next up in 6th place, we have the Golden Order with 1,950 prestige. Seasonal claim is 78,125. Renown is 2,000. Property value is 85 triumphs. Population is 295. Vanguardia is the lead with Homegrown and Nox at their side. In 7th place, Pretorius with 1,950 prestige. Seasonal claim of 28,200. Renown is zero. Property value is 190 triumphs. Population is 278. Pantheon is a lead with Veritas, TM, and Chosen Ones at their side. In eighth place, we have Animal Kingdom with 900 prestige. Seasonal claim of 5,945. Renown is 50. Property value is 45 triumphs. Population is 220. Undying Wolves is a lead with Odin's Ravens and Kraken Crew at their side. Bringing up that ninth place slot, we have La Cusa Nostra. 780 prestige, seasonal claim of 5,970. Renown is negative 345, property value is 35 triumphs, population is 115. Resurrection is the lead with Tapioca at their side. And then bringing up that 10th place slot, Gur with 585. Seasonal claim of 5,820. Renown is zero. Property value is 35 triumphs. Population is 173. Stormcloaks is the lead with Barbarians and Dauntless at their side. That brings us around to our seasonal claim board. Hibernia is leading the pack by 131,050 total seasonal claim. Artides in second, 89,390. Golden Order in third, 78,125. Chaos Legion in fourth. 67,755, Roaming Rolls 51,765, Praetorius 28,200, Start with 23,700, Annabellum 19,885, La Costa Nostra with seven, or 5,970, Animal Kingdom 5,945, Gur with 5,820, Deuce with 5,670, NATO with 5,100, no Evil, 4,450. High Brazel, 2,210. Khan with 1,880. Fight Club with 650. Nomadic Emperor with 350. Looking at our historical acclaim board, we have Hibernia in first place, 380,000. Maelstrom in second, 353,000. Foundation, 
329,000. Deuce Volt in fourth, 317,000. Art of D's is racing up this board. They'll be in that fifth place slot probably in a week. What, uh, 154,000. And then you have Golden Order running up this board. Chaos Legion down there at 23 and 25. Animal Kingdom is 27 moving up that board. And Roaming Rebels is going to be in the top 30 here probably in another week. All right, that about rounds it up. So thank you so much for tuning in. I did fix some stuff on the gseh.info slash war report this week, so check it out. See if you like it. I'm going to be making some more changes over the, the coming weeks, and all of next season I'll be working over that entire site. So uh, check it out, and I will see you all later. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you, Bubbles, for all the gifts. I really appreciate all those little gifted subs. Thank you so much, and I'll see you all later.